What is up, guys? Rebby's back, bringing you episode three of my Ultimate Team Series. Jumping right into the action once again. We hit him with the nice in, or inside zone. Get, get him a couple. Come on, this third and eight. He just come in zone. I hit the running out of the back to get minimal gain. Yeah, make it a manageable fourth down. He ran the man, and I hit the same running back. Probably one of the best man beaters right now. Considering it's out the backfield, and it's basically impossible to bump it. And with another inside zone, get a nice eight yard gain. Another inside zone. Make sure to or try to get that third. Luckily, we break the tackle. Oh, I just got a notification. I'm sorry about that. Another inside zone. So my phone was ring. Double juke inside. Get a nice. It gets off the block off Perriman. Like, random block shots. Kind of annoying. But hit the outside with AG and Peters. He breaks a tackle. Gets another extra three or four yards. Uh, ramp play action. And I streak the tight end. And hit him up in the seams for an easy touchdown. Now, this is. Yeah. <laughs> This is Perriman. I'm not really mad that he did it. I mean, it's kind of irritating, but I'm mad he celebrates. Like, it's not like he did anything to deserve that, but all right. Showing off kickoff. First kick I've ever shown, though, so that obviously means something. I do a uh, double juke outside, and then we're... has another notification. Um, I'm off to the races. Unfortunately, I got caught by Jared Cook. I was going to get cared by, caught by Bregman McManus, but, yeah, Jared Cook caught me. So I roll out left. I playmaker Joe Horn right on the second and five, and I get the catch in the... Aggressive catch, and then we run a corner out to Sammy Watkins, who possession catch, possession catch. first and goal coming out here. I roll out to the right, and Casey Hayward, I believe, gets like just gets off my right tackle and sprints towards me. Come out to the second and goal. I'm thinking at least get a field goal, but we get a nice like 10 yard rush with Randall Cunningham, the reason why I like him so much. And yeah, I threw. He ran commit plus I saw a man, and I ran that run the mass man beaters out. So. I kind of just stare now for see coming out on this at the one yard line coming at drag coming on this third and six I hit him with a a gap maybe b gap so we get ball half so I have a pyramid of my own so I try to do it I try to match him but unfortunately um lower coming turns to obj so coming up on this first down he decides to hit up pyramid again but my global queen decides to run away like a dumbass and again he celebrates which is irritating because he doesn't really do anything to deserve that I don't even celebrate like when I do a full drive and stuff but Coming up on this first and down off the kick, I'll get a playmaker him up, and this is a pretty dope play. The juke outside and break that tackle, and I'm basically gone. That's why I like Spill. He's probably the best running back for how I like to run my offense, especially for the price. Next, coming up on this second and ten, I, uh, I ran some man to try and stop it and with a safety. Uh, no, Perriman decides to just sprint past everyone again. 97 speed is kind of unfair. Next, I'm going to first and 10 with about 25 seconds left. I'm down by five, so I'm, he gets ball at half. So I'm thinking if I if I don't score a touchdown, I'm, that might be G Jizzle, GG, because he can make a two possession. But I had Gary Barnage newly pick up five seconds left on the, on the aggressive control. Roll out to the right on the flat and get a touchdown with no time left. I, so coming out of half, coming out of the second and 10, he did, I tried it. I used it so he wouldn't be able to lob it, but I mean, he. I guess it's better than touchdown, but he comes up with the sh the screen gets about eight or so, yeah, about eight or seven. So this is kind of good. He doesn't have enough room to do pyramid anymore, so I can play regular coverage. Gets me with the inside zone on third and one. Next, coming up on this first and ten, I try to bait him to that nod route, the stick and nod route, but he hits the inside zig. So yeah, to come up with certain left him with an a gap, and he kicks a field goal, so he's up by one. So I could either try and waste clock and kick the game winning field goal, or just score a touchdown, which. Oh, no, I hit the flat up on second and ten. Do a dribble juke outside and get it first down plus a little bit more. He runs some more man. I tried to play maker. I was thought about lobbing it or not, but I decided to just make get what I can and ran. So coming up to the start, he runs more man and I hit the the basically well, my favorite man beaters this year, which probably has been a Madden for every year. But didn't run man again. I was kind of lucky. It looked like. Who was that? Number 36, Deion Buchanan, I think. Could have got that. So you can be sneak on third and inches, get the first. So third and 19, and I'm thinking, wow, if I can get a field goal, I'll be happy. But I play maker Fender now, and he decides to make a big play. He breaks that tackle. I spin. He breaks that and gets the first down. So about a minute left. He calls his timeout. It's third and goal. So I do a toss. I, that was like the third time I did it, I think. But I get the touchdown on the minute and a half. And he comes out running the strong close and lobs up the pyramid again. But luckily, Glover Quinn stays in position. We get the pick, and... That's about GG. Um, I was just going to run the clock up, but I ended up scoring again. Usually I wouldn't, but he wants to pair him and celebrate when he didn't do anything. I decided to celebrate.